My video guide will help you to remove the browser hijacker that is called uh, Browse Safely or uh, it is also known under the name of the website uh, BrowseSafelyApp.com or BrowseSafelySearch.com So this is the browser hijacker because it changes a lot of uh, browser settings without the customer's permission or approval. Whenever you uh, start uh, submitting certain search queries, you may notice that the search results are no longer delivered by Google Search, but rather by some uh, safe browser Yahoo Search or simply by Yahoo Search or by some other search engine not selected by you initially. It does not matter what exact uh, search uh, queries you submit, you get the results by Yahoo Search and you may notice that that website BrowseSafelySearch.com uh, somehow redirects your search queries and eventually gets the results from Yahoo. BrowseSafelyApp.com uh, or Browse Safely Extension uh, they are spread through integration with some free programs so often people download and install them pretty unintentionally. So if you are not happy with all such amendments into the way your browser operates, you need to remove uh, any related browser extensions. So go to the menu, click on More Tools, choose Extensions. So you'll find this extension called Browse Safely. You may disable and then remove the extension completely. Finally, I would also recommend you to double-check the safety of your Mac with Combo Cleaner. You may go to the page combocleaner.com, then download the software, install the application and start examining your system with this tool to make sure it is free of any other threats. So this is the end of scanning by Combo Cleaner Antivirus. Uh, in my case it was uh, in the premium mode, but you'll see a um, pretty similar picture uh, with the trial mode of Combo Cleaner. Um, the program gives you the report about threats found. Uh, you may go to the antivirus section, click on review results. So as you can clearly see, this is the list of all threats that were found during the scanning. How to get rid of these threats manually? Of course, you can see the location of specific threat, plus you may click on this icon that says Show in Finder. So this will show you the location of the threat in Finder. You may right-click on it and move it to the trash. You may do the same thing with all other threats and um, get rid of these threats manually. Or, of course, you may consider upgrading to the premium version of the program to remove these threats automatically.